good morning welcome to e learning i am p sakivel assistant professor department of triple e sandeep periyar government school of technology vellore today's topic bjt bipolar junction transistor there are two types of power bjt one is pnp and another one is npn introduction to power bjt power bjt is a three layer three terminal two junction semiconductor devices if it is a pnp transistor then the three layers are p and p if it is a npn transistor then the three layers are n p n irrespective of the structure whether it is pnp or npn the three terminals are same that is emitter base and collector these are the three terminals of the devices and it has two junctions namely input junction and output junction input junction is represented as je junction that is emitter base junction and another one is collector base junction is also known as output junction these are the symbols of power transistors symbol for pnp transistor symbol for npn transistor the only difference in the symbol is the direction of arrow in npn transistor the direction of arrow is outwards in pnp transistor the direction of arrow is towards inside it is the cross sectional view of signal transistor here the two n regions are heavily doped that means n plus this is also n plus it is the structure of power bjt the difference between signal structure and power structure is the addition of n minus drift region this is n minus drift region the construction of power transistor is different from signal transistor the n minus layer is added in the power bjt which is known as drift region see here the drift region is the n minus region so including this n minus drift region we can say the power bjt has four layers and in most of power electronic applications the power transistor works in common emitter configurations there are three configurations it can work common emitter configuration common base configuration common collector configurations even though we have three types of configurations we most widely use only common emitter configurations common emitter configuration means emitter is common to both input and output where base is the input collector is the output similarly we have two types of transistors npn transistor and pnp transistor among these two types we widely use npn transistors the characteristics of the device is determined by the doping level in each of the layer and thickness of the layer so the characteristics are determined by the doping level in each of the level and thickness of the layer the thickness of the drift region determines the breakdown voltage of the power transistor the arrow in the symbol indicates the direction of electron flow this is static vi characteristics in the static vi characteristics we have four regions cut off region which is below ib0 in this cut off region the transistor acts as an open switch and also both the junctions are 
reverse bias. Above this cutoff region, we have an active region. In this active region, the input junction is forward bias and the output junction is reverse bias. After this active region, it go for saturation, quasi saturation region. After the quasi saturation region, it goes for add saturation region. So in static VI characteristics, we have four regions, cutoff region, active region, quasi saturation region, odd saturation region. In cutoff region, both the junctions are reverse bias and the base current is zero. So due to the base current is zero, the output current that is collector current is equal to the reverse leakage current ICEO. See in this static VA characteristics, IB is zero. Because of this input current is zero, the output current only the leakage current that is ICEO. So in this region, this act as an open switch because it offers high value of resistance. So it act as an open switch. Next one, active region. In the active region, the input junction, base emitter junction is forward bias, but the output junction, collector emitter junction is reverse bias. The collector current increases slightly with an increase in voltage of BCE if IB is increased. So now we increase the base current from 0 to some value. After increasing the base current from 0 to some value, we are increasing the collector to emitter voltage. Collector to emitter voltage. For increasing collector to emitter voltage, the output current IC slightly increases. The relation between the input current and output current that is IC and IB are related by IC equal to beta into IB. In the active region, BJT used as an amplifier. In this active region, the power dissipation is maximum. Next one, saturation region. The saturation region is divided into two. One is quasi saturation region. The second one is hard saturation region. In both the saturation regions, both the junctions are forward bias. That is, input junction and output junctions are forward bias. In quasi saturation region is between the odd saturation and active region. See here, this is the quasi saturation region. This quasi saturation region is in between the active region and the odd saturation region. This region exists due to lightly doped drift region. When BJT operates at high frequency, it is operated in quasi saturation region. The resistance in this quasi saturation region is less than the active region. So the power loss is also less. Next one, hard saturation region. In hard saturation region also, both the junctions are forward bias. The power BJT is pushed into hard saturation region from the quasi saturation region by increasing the value of the base current. This hard saturation region is also known as deep saturation region. The resistance offered in this hard saturation region is very very minimum. So whenever the BJT is operated in hard saturation region, the power dissipation is also minimum. The device acts as a closed switch when it operates in the hard saturation region. This region is suitable only for low frequency switching application. So for low frequency switching applications, it should be operated in hard saturation region. For high frequency switching application, it should be operated in quasi saturation 
region. This diagram shows the switching characteristics of the BJT. So here we are applying base to emitter voltage. After the application of the base to emitter voltage, there is the current flows in the base because this is the control current. So after the application of the voltage, the current flows through the base. But even after the input current, there is no output current at the collector. Up to certain duration, which is known as TD, there is only small leakage current ICEO. That duration is known as delayed time. After the delayed time, the current, that is collector current, raises from this leakage current to saturated value ICS. This time, during this period, the collector current raises from leakage current to saturated level that is known as raise time. So during the turn on process we have two times one is delay time and another one is raise time. Similarly in the turn off we make this base emitter voltage to zero due to this base current reduces to zero. Even after the base current reduced to zero, the collector current does not reduce for certain duration. That duration is known as storage time. So in this storage time, the collector current maintains the value of ICS. After this storage time, the collector current minimizes to the leakage value ICEO. This is known as fault time. So the turn off time consists of storage time and fault time. So see the diagram for turn on time. Consists of two times delay time and raise time. So after the base current the collector current has a small leakage value that is the time is known as delayed time and the time required to raise the collector current from leakage value to saturated value is known as raise time. In this equation T on is equal to TD plus TR where TD is the delay time, TR is the raise time. It is a diagram for turn off time. So after the base current made to zero, the collector current maintains the value of ICS for certain duration. That time is known as storage time. After the storage time, the collector current reduces to a minimum level which is known as leakage current. That time is known as fault time. See in this equation, turn off time is given as T off equal to Ts plus Tf, where Ts is the storage time, Tf is the fault time. Thank you.